Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all they from Sheba, Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall shew forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee, the rams of Nebioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? Surely the isle shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from there from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, thy pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Saviour, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron, I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. The sun shall no more be thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall the, thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous, they shall inherit the land for ever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, I don't want to offer any analysis of Isaiah chapter 60. Instead, I want to offer analysis of Isaiah chapter 59. And um, that is the, the, the video, the, uh, from yesterday's video. I wanted to um, offer analysis of this.
I, t I touched on this uh, verse uh, yesterday, um, Isaiah 59, 19, um, which reads, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Um, so, yeah, this is very beautiful. And um, I, I just love the... Um, I love that imagery. Um, some of the other translations also mention like the breath of God as an interpretation. Um, so it is very beautiful. And I wanted to understand more about Isaiah 59, the meaning in general 15 of Isaiah 59. It's very beautiful because it also says um, in Isaiah 59 21 um, I want to get different translations of that as well and I'll share that, uh, me, that verse with you again now It's very beautiful. You'll see here. It says, Isaiah 59, 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit, referring to the Holy Spirit, that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. So the idea that that righteousness that God gives, and God who gives the Holy Spirit to his people, um, it's very beautiful. And he talks about how that, you know, that goodness that he gives, um, and they'll see the spirit there, you know, f for their seed and their seed after that. Um, so very beautiful stuff there. Yeah, so one one thing that is very beautiful is um you know Isaiah 59 17, 17 through 20 it it talks about um you know Jesus as the Messiah the redeemer the redeemer coming to Zion and um it's very beautiful here because I want to read these verses again because they they show and talk about you know the you know God Jesus as that redeemer. So let's read from Isaiah 59:17 through 21. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and an helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay, recompense. So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of my, thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. The word of the Lord there. Yeah, thanks be to God. Very beautiful. So that idea that you're referring to God Jesus through this section where it says, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. So very beautiful. And with that now I'll transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video I worked myself for a developer job and I have created this Daily Dive video for 12.26.23. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. 
please like comment and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel like to be with you all take care and thanks again